adding movie clips to our joke writing scripts using the news headline topic of first female Mexican president. We're now imagining we have some raw material, some rough drafts of jokes related to our topic. Remembering that, of course, picking a topic is often a huge hurdle for people to first overcome and then seeding their minds with ideas to create these raw materials, the rough drafts of jokes, which we've talked about in a prior course or section and might touch on a little bit more as we go forward. But... Our point of focus now is to think about how we can utilize video clips. Where can we find those video clips? How can we sort those video clips so that when we put a script together, it will be easy for us to implement those video clips into it. So remember, when we're creating an actual script, we might use something like news topics in order to seed our mind with ideas that we can then build on. Although there's many other things you can use as well. You could just use... English idioms or common sayings to help seed your mind with ideas to build the raw material of jokes on. Now, if you build that raw material, you're working somewhat like a stand-up comedian and you can build up a routine from that. However, the stand-up comedian typically doesn't have a lot of skill in the online or AI tools that can now be utilized such as AI art, which we saw in prior presentations, which can make a pretty bland joke, something that's not even a joke, really. Funny, because now, like a cartoonist that is in the Sunday papers or something like that, we, without any drawing skills, can take the wacky image we have in our mind and make it with the proper prompt in an AI image. That is something that is not being utilized to anywhere near the potential it can be because oftentimes, again, these image creator people, artists, are not the same people as the writer people, the stand-up comedians, and both of them are not the same person as a computer person who's good at making prompts to put all this stuff together. So I think that has a lot of potential for uh, people to step in and make their own stuff. On top of that, we also have years worth now of quality movie and TV shows who have been writing these comedy scripts for a long time. And it used to be we didn't have access to them unless we had a cassette tape or something like that. But now you typically do have access to them because most of these movies are on streaming services or they are on, the clips are actually on YouTube and whatnot. And there are many searching tools to find these clips. And oftentimes, the little clip that we add on to a joke could give us a little bit more flair similar to the AI images and make something that wasn't originally funny more funny. And oftentimes, when you're looking up your jokes, trying to find clips related to it, the clip itself might have a routine around it already. Most idioms, most common phrases, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. They have tons of skits that have been written around them already. So you can often find these skits and then simply rewrite into your current scene that that same kind of idea. So that's another way that can really seed your mind with ideas by just saying, what are the skits related to this topic that have already been done and how can I twist them or fit them into the current thing that I want to talk about. So those are just some things to keep in mind. Now, as we talk about movie clips, just want to point out you have the fair use problem. And we might talk more about that in like when we get to editing, possibly uh, in how we can edit it to make sure we don't run into fair use problems. And I'm not going to get into all the legal ins and outs of the fair use situation, except to say some things to, to keep yourself safer of being in line on the fair use will be if the clips are smaller, you're probably more likely to be okay. So if you're talking five minute clips or five second clips, I mean, not five minutes, then then you might be likely to be within uh, the fair use. If you do things like not have the audio and you're talking over just a visual, you're more likely to be within the realms of the fair use. If you put your clip not on a full screen, but you crop it to a small screen, possibly using like green screen type of imagery that allows you to to do that with like a cool little graphic, which we might get into later that you can find. Then 
because it's not full screen, you might be more likely to be in uh, a fair use uh, type of situation. I've also seen people actually put graphics in front of the screen that basically say fair use. So that you're saying, hey, look, I'm, I'm telling YouTube, I'm not just playing the thing. I have graphics going over it. So no one would watch this as opposed to the original, given the fact that I have this bleeping thing in front of it. Sometimes that could help with fair use. Also, when you upload to YouTube these days, the fair use check happens kind of automatically, at least the automatic check within YouTube, which can kind of compare to the actual clip automatically a lot faster and it can give you an idea whether you're in fair use or not. And if you're not, it's getting better at telling you exactly where the problem is so that you can then go back and fix the problem, shorten up the clip or do what you need to do. And so those are just some things to kind of keep in mind uh, when you're dealing with the fail fair use problem of video clips. All right, we chose our headline, Mexican's first female president. Again, I'm not going to I'm not trying to, I don't know anything about Mexico's political system very much, or at least not much about it. We're just trying to take that headline and come up with jokes about it. So the assumptions from that headline, you could have an assumption like if you say it's the first female president of Mexico, then you're assuming that Mexican is a republic. Mexican has voting. Mexico uh, voted in this person and the person happens to be female. If we break any of those assumptions, it could lead to incongruity, which is a joke. So Mexico has elected a president who is female. We could say, well, actually, the cartels put her in place. So now we're saying we're undermining whether or not it's a free election, indicating that the cartels put her in place. Again, I'm not trying to say that that's exactly that's what's happening in reality. I'm just trying to shatter that assumption and show how you might do that. And we could add an image related to it. And then we could also add a movie related to it. Now, sometimes I will actually write my script and then I'll go back in and look at the images and the movies. And then I will typically sort them this way so that when I'm reading my script, this is a different color. So I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to be like Joe Biden, be like, well, actually the cartels put there in place 10, 10, 60, 10 or something like that. No, because this is just my notes to tell me that, that the green represents an image and the red is going to be representing a movie clip that I can then go back in and pick up. So I'm going to sort those this way. So then you, you could have a few resources. If I, if I look at this joke, I can look at the key terms. Well, actually, the cartels put her there. So, so then I can try to think, well, what are some movie clips that would make sense. I could put she's in charge or something like that in a search engine designed to have movie clips. Now, the one that's the most direct at this point in time is this one, Yarn. It's G-E-T-Y-A-R-N dot I-O. I'm not affiliated with them at all or anything like that. It's just that this website seems to have put many different movies and whatnot in place within five second clips, which should be within the range of fair use. So this is kind of like the most direct way that you can probably pick something up. And if you only use one clip, you will likely be within the fair use and they have a pretty nice search engine and, and whatnot. So, but there's also many other tools. You could use a tool like this that searches movie quotes. So you could just type into your favorite search engine, give me a tool that will allow me to search movie quotes and then find the movie quotes. And some of them will actually give you the time in the movie, which if you have the movie on a streaming device, then you can find it. Also note, some streaming networks, the big streaming networks, uh, won't allow you sometimes to kind of record the stream. And you might have to adjust settings if you want to record an actual stream from a streaming network. There's a lot of stuff on the internets to try to, to, to help you out if you want to look into the details uh, about that. I don't want to get into that in, in detail, but it seems to me there are ways to do that. And it seems to me that if you clip keep the clips within the fair use zones, then you should be okay. And I'm not going to get too into detail exactly what is a fair use zone or not, because I don't want to get into like uh, legal issues with that, right? 
So, so then if you, so we can search over here for the clips. Now, if I find a clip just with a keyword, so for this one, I found uh, this clip. You look like a gangster. So that's from Goodfellas. I you look like a gangster. So, so I, so I couldn't find anything great with that particular one, but I'm saying here she's, if she's the head of the cartels, then she's saying, hey, you look like a gangster. Right. And so I was trying to say that could be something that could kind of fit in that one. So so are you sure she's female? So once again, the assumption is first female Mexican president. You could question that premise. Are you sure she's female? Maybe she's not female. And we've got all these all kinds of things these days with with this kind of issue of is there a woman? What is a woman and all that kind of stuff? So something that you might try to search on that is in here you could Put, put something are you sure she's a woman or something like that and sometimes you'll find a clip or if you happen to have some of the stuff these days like a south park or something you might search it directly in like a youtube or you might already have it in like a streaming service or something but if you don't have it in a streaming oftentimes the clips are in youtube so here's for example a south park now if i was to copy this i might just copy the url so if i found what i wanted I might copy and paste the URL in my script or next to my joke. I'm going to color it red. Red for me indicating this is a movie clip that goes along with this particular joke. And then I'm going to put the time here at 0.51. And that's where I'm thinking it might fit in. So these are just thoughts, right? I'm not, I'm not saying this, is, this wouldn't be my final thing. I'm just trying to put down ideas so that when I put all these together in a script then I can say, do I want to add these jokes within it? So this is a South Park episode where this guy is competing as a woman. <laughs> How free I feel now that I've started identifying as a woman. Now that I can compete as female, I'm ready to smash the other girls. And is it correct you just started identifying as female? So, so, <laughs> so now again, that, that clip, if you go from something that's in the streaming or from YouTube, then it's quite likely that you might go over that five second span, which is where you have to have questions and say, okay, can I break that up into components? So sometimes within your script, for example, if you, if you had something that's going longer than the five second bit, then you might say, hey, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add pieces of it. So that one little skit that might be like a minute long or something like that, or you know, I can, I can then break up between some of my lines in my skit so that it's not just playing for too long at one time, which is more likely that it's going to cause you a problem with the copyright issue, right? And you also can might change the screen size and whatnot uh, as you as you play it in your in your uh, edi editor feed. In terms of referencing it, like I say, I can't really save this into my worksheet over here because usually I would number my my clips and then I would and then I would reference my clips over here but I can't do that if, if I'm going to actually record it as I do my recording in the software so I'm going to copy the URL which of course you could do by just right clicking and copy the URL and then I'll put that there and I'll put the time reference to it where I want to start recording if I'm going to use that if I make it into a, a part of my script. So this is the first time a female has held the presidency in Mexico. So except so we're saying that's the premise or that's within the line within the uh, the line of this is the first female president of Mexico. You assume that of course, uh, it's the first time a female has been running the country of Mexico, except we're going to say breaking that premise that the last guy's wife basically ran the country is is what I'm trying to say there, right? So now I'm kind of breaking the premise like, yeah, we've had a woman run the country. It was the last guy's wife, right? So then, so then could I find a clip about basically, you know, a woman running the country? And so a lot of times the first place I'll search, if I have something in my mind, then I'll, I'll search for it in YouTube. But if I don't, I could just type in here, you know, woman running the country or something, woman running something, and then see what I come up with within the searching in here, running the country. And so, and then oftentimes 
what you'll what you'll find in here if you go into it cross country running the country this isn't what i'm looking for but just let me just show you this clip running the country so you see how it's just a less than five second clip now if i go forward it'll show me the next scene oh. and so if i wanted to save save these if i had a few scenes i can file i can right click and say save video as and then i'm going to save it as a number i'm going to number it right and then those are the numbers that i'm coming with coming up with uh over here so the, the one i found related to this one was I, I referenced 6020-6025. So these might not fit perfectly, but we have this one. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, Jethro. And then I, I kept going with that scene to see the next one. It isn't going to rain. And then I kept going with that scene. Oh, yes, it is. And then I kept going. With, now, notice how short these clips are. Granny says so. Granny says so. When Granny says something's going to happen, it happens. So the reason I thought that what might work is because Granny's the boss, right? Granny said so. Sounds like she has remarkable powers. And so I think that's where I started. I actually looked up the woman is in charge or the woman is powerful or something like that. And I came up to this bit and then I went back and said, okay, is there a, is there a whole bit that works and I can put it together. And then I, so I saved all of them and say, maybe I'm going to put now, if I put all of these in one spot, it's still not that long, probably wouldn't violate any copyright thing because it's still not that long. But if you start to get much longer, then it could end up in a copyright thing and you might be able to spread it out between your bit right you might be able to say i'll put these three here and then i'll continue on with my bit and then i'll put these three here so it might be a little disjointed sometimes when people watch it but sometimes it fits actually quite well to continue on with your bit and it works almost like a callback right because you're saying part of it and then you continue with your joke and then you say the next bit that's still part of the skit and it's almost like you're doing a routine that's calling back to the prior part of the bit and so sometimes it works it seems to me that it works pretty well sometimes so then it says mexico is a country with a presidential system of government that's the assumption you could say no you could try to assume it's not a presidential and i didn't find one for that so i, I don't have one. the role of the president in mexico is significant enough to be noteworthy so mexico is run by the cartels so I'm kind of trying, again, I'm breaking the assumption that it's basically run by the cartels. And I have this one that I found, 6030. So let's check that one out. 6030. And... Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Now that one, I was trying to... What I was seeing is, is that this was the first female president, which, which the indication is, well, this is a really big, big uh, event that we have to basically talk about and so on and so forth and so i was looking for something that said who cares right it's not a big event because in the united states here women have broken every glass there's no more glass that hasn't been broken over here it seems like i mean i don't maybe that's just me i don't know i don't don't put any glass around the women they're gonna break it <laughs> just kidding so the election the election process in mexico uh, uh, uh mexico allows female candidates so let's say uh, I found this one. I'm going to say, OK, duh, duh, duh. so I was trying to say I, I searched for something like we don't allow women or no women allowed here. And this is what I found. I probably could have found something better. But just to give you an idea, I am Lieutenant Emily Lake, your new dive officer. And so here's the next bit of that one. The next clip. Well, oh, that's impossible, Lieutenant. They must be confusing you with Emilio Lake. So she's, she's a woman. He's like, no, you can't be, it must be Emilio because you're a woman and we don't allow women. Women aren't allowed on submarines. Now, this is the first clip that I found, right? Women aren't allowed on submarines. And then I went back from that clip and got the whole scene, the whole scenario. And so, so now I think the whole bit would kind of work. And I still think it's 
even though it's three clips, it's probably under the threshold that it would still fit and not be a fair use problem. But again, you can kind of break it up if it were. So the next one, the election of a female president in Mexico might inspire others. So given the fact that Mexico is run by cartels, having a female president elected may be, may be a bad sign. So I'm trying to indicate, well, maybe that's maybe it's not a good thing. I picked up this this one <laughs> with with a with a this is a so now I picked it up from a movie clip. So I tried to look one up on yarn, but I had an idea of an actual movie clip. I looked it up on YouTube, picked up the URL here, and it was uh, from Major League was in my mind. This lady from Major League cracks me up. She's the best, like, just <laughs> but like she <laughs> years we haven't placed higher than fourth in the last 15. obviously it's time for some changes this guy here is dead cross him off then so i just i thought I, that just was the classic like you know uh wom woman that went in there that doesn't really care about the the team prospering but she but she but <laughs> so she has this plan that's like Got a kind of uh, wacky on it. I thought she does like she played that part like <laughs> really well. I thought, but in any case, I thought they kind of might be able to shoehorn that one into to that if I was to write a script on it. And then uh, and then the ones down here. This is my comparison ones. So this one I was comparing president and and uh, and woman. So beauty brains becomes beauty brains in power. So then I found a 6051. You would think you could find a quote like that these days, beauty, brains, and power. So if I look that up in yarn, you would think that you could find a quote that would kind of go for that. And I found uh, 6051. So I think it was this one. Let's see, Hawaiian surf trunks. So let's continue, and then I continued on here. Barbie, those were vintage. So she's ripping up his, <laughs> Is surf drunks because she's got the power as well. Okay, all right, go ahead. Rip them. I don't care. They're and then, Barbie, not the Negro. Okay, and so, and I think I got this idea where he said this bit where he said, "I don't care." What a shame. Oh no, 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 no! So she, <laughs> so my idea was that she has the power here. Now I was thinking I got this when I said, "Who cares?" Because in this bit he said, "Who cares." And then I started looking at it and say, well, now this is a woman that's, you know, got the power here or whatever. So I thought that might fit somewhere else. And then I looked at the whole bit and I'm like, yeah, maybe that maybe that could fit, you know, within this area. Hell hath no fury like the scorn of a woman president. So I put the, the phrase hell hath no fury. And then I tried to twist like a woman scorn to the scorn of a female president. And I found these ones, 60060. So I, that phrase you would think would be one that you could find in like a yarn. Like I looked that up in yarn. I would thought I would find more, but I found this. Can we in fact pretend that she is anything other than a woman? And then the second bit. Formed like which fury hell hath no. So he kind of twisted it around backwards like a woman hath no. So, so he said the same thing, but he said it in kind of a, a fancy way might not be great but it was a, so so you can forget about the presidential pardon so i found this 6070 let's see i looked up presidential pardon i think arrange for a presidential pardon so all i did was look up presidential pardon this is night rider two weeks later the guy commits suicide so right, she, he committed she she she's not going to give you a presidential pardon wait she gave a presidential pardon the guy committed suicide Seems a little unusual. Oh, what makes you think there's a connection? What may, right, so I'm just kind of implying that she's not, she didn't really pardon, I don't know. That was, the, that was my idea. And then this one I was, thought was funny too. 6094 to 6, so 6094, Marty. Men are still permitted to be servants? If you and then the next bit was. He's a rogue male, tell us now, and we will kill him. He's if he's a rogue male, tell us now and we will kill him. I thought that was funny. So I thought we, we might be able to work that one in somewhere. And then the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world literally as commander in chief. So now we have the hand that rocks the cradle 
literally because she's commander in chief. So I found two zero two zero five zero. Let's check that. Uh, what what is it? Two zero. It was two zero five zero. No, that's the wrong thing. I found six zero eight zero. So six zero eight zero on yarn. Never let an attractive woman into your house. So how did I get that? Well, because I looked up. All they ever do is usurp your family and then kill you. Continuing on. Like that documentary, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. That's the one, of course, that I looked up. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. That's what I looked up. And then I went back and I found the full bit on it. That was a movie. Look, all we know... So that was a movie. <laughs> is she's going to shoot you or stab you or boil you. So I thought that was kind of funny and probably could work in, you know, to our routine, maybe. And so those and then this one, the buck stops here because behind every great man is a great country is a great woman. Right. So the buck stops here. You could probably find a bunch of stuff on that behind every great man. I looked that one up. Six zero nine zero six zero nine zero. That's where I found this bit. Oh, I get it. The old and then this bit. Behind every great man, Amazon twist. Son and then, and then it goes there. Silence. <laughs> Silence. And then, well, let's see the last one. Your slave is ill-mannered. <laughs> Your slave is ill-mannered. So I thought that was kind of funny. And uh, let's see. So then we had mother hen has flown in. So seven zero one zero two 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 seven zero one zero. Oh, we're the Arizona Tech Fighting Hens Marching Band. So she's the Fighting Hens Marching Band. I don't. I don't. Go Hens! No, I don't. So so that one I just looked up because again, Mother Hens is a common English idiom. So you would think that there would be puns on that that have been used already in TV shows and movies. So that's the idea. Anything that you write out is likely to have a bunch of puns on it. And even if it doesn't, and a bunch of English idioms, even if it doesn't, just find the closest English idiom that's related to it. And you will probably find many bits on that in movies, TV shows, which might be useful little clips that can add a little flavor to your presentation and might actually also give you an idea of what has been done with a related bit that you can then tweak, which is what basically comedy does, right? We're all stealing from each other in some sense, right? We're just taking the ideas and then applying them to the current situation.